All right, this one's gonna be on a magnet link script I created for W3M. Uh, this one's to handle, you know, magnet links. So that will send any magnet links to your torrent client. So for example, I'm on um, a torrent site here and uh, link 32 here, this is a magnet link. You can see the bottom here, I'll say magnets, right? And then they have like, you know, all your hash and stuff of like that that will send it to your torrent client. And if I hit enter on this, um, was it number 32 here? It will actually download this, you know, 42 Ultra HD 4K most impressive landscape wallpaper, right? And my torrent client uh, that I'm using is Transmission here, more specifically Transmission Daemon. And the front end to this, this is called Transmission Remote CLI here, right? Anyways, if I hit enter on this, you know, uh, link 32 here, automatically it will add it to uh, the bottom here. Right, you see the bottom, 42 Ultra HD 4K, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I do another one here. Um, one second. Another one, another one. So we added three, right? And then let's say I go to another page. We'll do uh, another torrent uh, website here. We'll use Elite X here. And we'll do wallpapers also. Uh, what else we got down here? Okay, let's say uh, 70 here. And this one will search for a magnet. So if I hit enter on this one, it should send that 28 Ultra HD 4K computer desktop wallpapers. And it does, and you can see that it's downloading, you know, all my other uh, torrents that we just added. We'll pause it though, because I don't want to download it. Uh, but that's how that works, real simple, right? Um, not that hard. Now, how do you set this up? Um, <laughs> real simple here. Let's go bus out. Uh, I talked about this in the past, but that one was a Python script and more specifically Python 2, which Python 2 is dead now. Uh, it's not supported anymore, I don't believe. And most distribution, uh, it's not installed by default anymore either. Uh, so that's one reason why I you know, wrote my own. Another reason was that this script didn't um, delete the buffer Whenever you're running a script in W3M, you want to delete the buffer because there's a temporary buffer. And so you'll lose your place with where you're at. And the script didn't really handle that. Uh, but my script does because it will actually add the torrent and it will, you know, send you back to where you were. Uh, and there's no temporary, you know, shell in between it. Um, so that's another reason. So Python 2 is dead. And this one didn't do... Uh, you know, getting rid of the temporary shell either. So um, that's two things there. Anyways, let me show you my script now. This one is actually a uh, shell script, so it's gonna be working forever. It doesn't need Python or anything. That's just a POSIX compliant uh, shell script, right? <clears throat> and it's only three lines. Pretty simple, you can read it here. So basically it's doing printf, or you can use echo too, it doesn't matter, but uh, there's this W3M control. This one, it's like a, a command that you can send, uh, uh, you know, that you can use in a shell script to control um, uh, W3M functions. So these are W3M functions here, right? And let me show you um, in that in here. Let me see here. There's functions. What was that one? All right, so this one should be in your... If you install W3M, it should be in your USR shared doc W3M readme.func. But basically, these are your functions that you can control uh, if you ever want to write your own scripts, right? So let's say, for example, read shell here. What does it do? It uh, executes shell commands and display output. So basically, that we're doing, we're, do, we're using a, a, you know, our own shell commands. So we're using transmission remote add. And what we're adding, we're adding, um, or magnet links. In this case, we're using this query string. This is like a built-in W3M uh, variable. And, you know, in this case, it's going to be our magnet link because that, when you hit enter, that's what the string is going to be, you know, uh, our magnet link on that uh, cursor, right? And we put it in single quotes because magnet links has weird symbols. 
and we don't want those symbols to mess up our uh, shell command so that's why we put using single quotes here anyways that's it for that and we do want to delete the previous buffer and let's go search for that here what is that one delete uh, where's that one so delete previous buffer <clears throat> so whenever you're running a shell in uh, well, not a shell. I mean, like you executing a uh, a shell script uh, in W3M, it creates a temporary buffer. So you can see here, this one says mainly for local CGI scripts. So that's what we're doing. We're deleting the previous buffer because it's annoying to have it on because you have to hit back to uh, go back to where you were. And then the next one is to go back to where you left off, and that's really all it does real simple let me see here search for back here at the function all right this one uh closes uh current buffer and return uh what was that return to the one below in the stack so that's what it means there but anyways that's how you write your own um, shell script if you ever wanted to write your own uh for w3m you want to use w3m control and any of these functions in here uh, you can automate it, you know, however you want to do it. depending on what these function does uh, You might have to do extra stuff like this one, you know, reshell. shell you have to write your own, you know, shell commands for it anyways, that's it for those uh, three lines to replace that Python script that uh, I used to use But now we don't have to worry about um, Python 2 stuff anymore just using uh, pure Posix compliant shell script here, All right? Uh, so that's it for that now as far as setting it up, you know, uh, you do need W3M URI method map, so you need to create that uh, file which is a, a Text file and then in here you want to add in, you know, this magnet line here. So magnet link not magnet magnet colon and then you know your file location which um, that's what this command does here. It will do this automatically. And then you need to have it executable and you need to place your magnet CGI into that location. And this other one is to uh, put this in your WDN config here. Let me show you what that one does here. Uh, let's quit. What was that one? So this one here, that's what this one does. It will add this line into your, um, or edit this line in your your config, right? Actually, you really only need this portion. Let me see here. That's it, really. But I believe, because uh, there's different, um, you know, Linux systems out there, and they have like different paths. So that's why I use colon here. I believe that's the correct syntax, colon, because I tried using. Um, was that comma space here it, it doesn't it just always complains that is wrong so i use colon i believe that's correct for having multiple paths but i put all three in there and it works fine um i might be wrong on that but for sure you you can just use this one uh like this and it should be fine too all right anyways uh however you want to do it but that's what you need to have in there and that's pretty much it that's how you would set it up and whenever you need to you know download a uh, magnet link or whatever it is and then um uh, you can use uh what was that uh, any of your torrent uh, website and then just hit on the magnet hit enter and it'll send it to your um uh transmission or if you're using r torrent you have to write your own commands i don't know their commands for r torrent or if you're using aria to c then you know whatever commands for r to c uh, you want to add that for uh, the script, right? Anything in that script here. So uh, Transmission uh, remote. This is what you add if you use something else make sure you uh, Have the correct flags and stuff like that for it and then it should work anywho, that's it for the script and uh, Now I don't have to worry about Python 2 stuff anymore uh, That I know how to you know write my own script now and I probably do some more Actually, I wrote a few already, but uh, we'll share that in another video. But as far as for um, adding magnet links, that's how I do it uh, from now on using my own uh, shell script here, right? That'd be it for this one.